Well, it is a concern for any parent with children in sports. Is my son or daughter at risk for a concussion? And how likely will there be any lasting harm? This fall, 150 Minnesota youth hockey players are taking part in a study that is using a new concussion test to measure brain waves. WCCO's Esme Murphy explains how that test could someday give parents an immediate diagnosis and peace of mind. This mid-ice collision last year is the kind of hit every parent dreads. I heard it first and looked up and saw him go down. Dr. Sarah Hecker's then 12-year-old son Hudson is one of the kids in the crash. It's, it's a parent's panic to see your kid lying on the ground. He was diagnosed with a concussion. Hudson was back on the ice in two weeks. Ironically, Dr. Hecker is a clinical researcher who had been studying head injuries. Um, there's three parts to the, the enrollment. After her son's concussion, she decided to have her company, Adjuvant Partners, study a new concussion test being evaluated by the FDA. The test will be able to give us information on whether there's actually been a head injury or traumatic brain injury or whether um, there's, for example, a neck injury. Hecker recruited 150 youth hockey players from Minneapolis, Edina and Bloomington to be part of the study of the Brain Network Activation Test, BNA for short. You go ahead and close your eyes. At the Noran Neurological Clinic, players are fitted with a cap with electrodes and complete an hour-long test on a computer. You go ahead and blink your eyes a few times. If I would have had the ability to use this test or see this test with Hudson last year after the hit, it would have been a huge relief to me. And bite down or grit your teeth. The test measures brain activity. Players take it at the beginning of the season, again after a concussion and during recovery, and at the end of the season. Below on the left. One of the players in the study is 13-year-old Huck Sorok. He was skateboarding in the summertime and hit his head and was profusely vomiting. We took him to the hospital. He had a concussion. Huck has had two concussions in hockey where the symptoms were not as clear. Could have been whiplash. It could have just been that he got hit. That's why Huck's dad, Brad, also a hockey player, wanted him to be part of the study. He and we love the game, and if he had multiple concussions, I, there is a point where you say, um, enough is enough. So in each trial, you will hear either a high or a low pitch tone. As Huck responds to test questions on a computer, the electrodes measure his brain activity. It's the mapping of the brain that makes this test different from the traditional computer test that many young athletes currently take. The traditional computerized tests for concussions have come under fire for being inconclusive. Studies have shown that players can do poorly on them because they're not paying attention or simply not following directions. I think the potential for this test... The study's medical director, Dr. Stephen Lebo, says in his opinion, the traditional computer test does not measure a concussion. But I don't think it helps at all. It's no better than just talking to the patient. Lebo says the BNA test is a breakthrough, that doctors can actually see the extent of the injury, much like an x-ray of a broken bone. But when you look at the, the material that's generated, you can say, this was here, now it's here, there's something wrong. Uh, it, it's not a little bit better, it's a factor of 10 times better, I think. This is the BNA test image of a young football player's brain before a concussion. This, in this case, is a very robust baseline activity here. And this is the BNA test image after the injury, which clearly shows a change. The functional activity of the brain is much lower than it was prior to injury. The hope is that the technology could someday be used like an x-ray to tell not only when a player has a concussion, but when a player doesn't have one. It's a certainty Brad Sorok would like for Huck and that Dr. Hecker would like for Hudson that I want to be able to be conclusive if there is that incident where he gets hit. As a mom, it takes the pressure off me to determine when I think he should go back. Uh, Dr. Hecker plans on publishing her findings on the Minnesota hockey players next spring. The test manufacturer hopes to get approval from the FDA sometime next year. And you can learn more about this study at WCCO.com links.